This is Rise and Pray, Lives Depend on It, and we take a moment to welcome you all to the line this morning. Welcome you all to, that are viewing us via Facebook or even on our YouTube channel. We thank you. We thank you if this is your first time with us. We thank you for sacrificing your time. We thank you for joining with us. We thank you for your presence on this morning. We believe that the Lord is honoring our sacrifices as we stand in great expectation of the powerful move of God as we continue to join together and pray with and pray for each other. Today is Friday. We thank God for another week. I don't know about you all, but this has been a very interesting week for me. So we thank God that we get got to this moment, this Friday morning, where we can thank him for keeping us all week long. We will do a recap for the um, war cries on this week before we get started. Monday's war cry was, tear down the system of Hypocrisy. A hypocrite pretends to be someone they are not. They are great imposters who tend to say one thing, yet their actions are another. Trust must be the foundation of any relationship. Hypocrites cannot be trusted. When we profess to know God, yet we deny him and his power, we are being an untrustworthy hypocrite. We must remove the blinders from our eyes and utilize the gift of the discernment of spirits so that we can tear down the system of hypocrisy. <laughs> Tuesday war cry, the Reformation. Reformation is defined as making changes to something with the intentions of setting it back on the right path. Even during this pandemic of COVID-19, God is reforming his people. Part of the process is God sitting us down to quiet our spirit. We need the power of the Holy Spirit to help us surrender and yield to God's reformation. Stand strong on the word of God with hope, peace, expectation, because the season of reformation is here. Wednesday war cry, no, I am not okay. Oftentimes, when we greet people, we ask them how they are doing, and lots of responses are, I'm okay. Do we know it's okay not to be okay? Today we stand before God as broken people, as a broken nation. Our reality has been overtaken by hate, violence, cruelty, frustration, and fear. In order for us to be okay, we must first admit we are not okay. God is looking for us to be part of the solution and not feed the problems. We are sick and tired of being sick and tired, and we cry out, no, I am not okay. Yesterday's war cry, when you're knocked off your feet, what do you do? The question is not if, but when. Unexpected circumstances will take us all through various seasons. Our active responses to these situations play a key role in our maneuvering through these experiences. Walk boldly and confident in the spirit. We must take the time to remind ourselves what God has promised us through his word. Bind up the spirit of doubt when it tries to enter into your mind and heart. Offer up sacrifices of worship, fasting, and praying. Yield over to humility by walking in faith and not by sight. Then the Holy Spirit will lead and guide our footsteps 
when we are not off of our feet. And today's war cry is, keep your guard up. Keep your guard up. Scripture reading is coming from 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 9 through 11. Keep your guard up. You're not the only ones plunged into these hard times. It's the same with Christians all over the world. So keep a firm grip on the faith. The suffering won't last forever. It won't be long before this generous God who has great plans for us in Christ, eternal and glorious plans they are, will have you put together and on your feet for good. He gets the last word. Yes, he does. Before I begin to pray, I want to read this. Defense is often underrated, especially in fitness-oriented boxing classes. This can often give a false sense of security. Just because you can punch effectively does not mean that you can effectively avoid punches. Step one of any defense does box, boxing lesson should be keeping your guard up. The hands serve to block or guard you from incoming strikes. The position of having your hands blocking your face is often referred to as the guard. You may hear coaches yell at their boxers to keep your guard up. This is what they are referring to. Keeping your guard up sounds like a simple task. But after a few moments of moving around with your hands at the level of your face, the arms will begin to fatigue or lose focus. Knowing this, we have to work all the harder to keep our guard up. Distractions is a condition or state of mind in which the attention is diverted from an original focus or interest. God, we enter your gates on this morning with thanksgiving, God. We enter your courts with praise, God. We are being thankful for you, God, and we are blessing your holy name on this morning, God. We thank you, O oh God, for this season of gathering, O oh God. We thank you, God, for this season of weeping and mourning, O oh God. We thank you for this season of reaping, God, and sowing, God. We thank you, O oh God, for what you have given to us during this season, O oh God. We thank you for the season of testing and trying, God. We know that it's working for our good, God. We know that it's helping to mature our faith, God. We know, God, that it's bringing us closer to you, O oh God. So we give you thanks, God. God, for this season, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we worship you, God, in the beauty of holiness, God. We declare, God, that there is simply nobody like you, Jesus. God, there's nobody that can love us the way that you can, God. You are a faithful God. God, we couldn't ask for anything more, God. You are all that we need. God, you are all that we will ever need and desire, God. In the name of Jesus, God, those that have a hole in their heart, God, because they're missing someone, God. They're missing something, God. We're asking, God, in the name of Jesus, that you would fill that hole with your love, oh, God. Fill that hole with your peace, oh, God. Fill that hole with your anointing, God, and your presence. 
presence, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, will you forgive us, God, for straying away from you, God? Will you forgive us, God, for not being obedient to you, God? Will you forgive us, God, for turning away from you, God, this day, God? We're asking you for another opportunity, God, another opportunity to be that witness and example that you've called us to be, God. You've called us all to be disciples and ambassadors for you, God. We thank you, God, because it is a privilege and an honor, oh God. That's not an easy task, oh God. But we thank you, God, that we are committed for that, oh God. We're committed to do what you have charged us to do, oh God. We're committed to the assignment that you've given us today, God. And we're asking you today, God, to help us to keep our guards up, oh God. Distractions are coming from every end, oh God. Division is trying to come in from every end, oh God. But God, we're asking you today, God, even though we may be tired and weary, oh God, even though we may be laying down, God, because we've gotten knocked down, oh God, Lord, help us to keep our guard up, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we need to keep the main thing, the main thing, God. When the enemy comes in to try to confuse the situation, oh God, help us to remember the why, God. What is the main thing, God? Redirect our focus, oh God. Help us not to get caught down that that way, oh God, of being distracted, oh God, when he's trying to be, bring chaos, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we know, God, that weariness and fear and worry, doubt and anxiety, all those things can be distractions, oh God, because when we're feeling weary, oh God, and tired and anxious and all of the above, oh God, we can't focus right, God. We make wrong choices, oh God. We make hasty decisions, oh God. It costs us so much, oh God, when we're not right in our mental state, oh God, when we're trying to keep our guard up. So we're asking you today, God, will you help your people, oh God? Lord, you said if we lack wisdom to just ask and you would freely give it to us, oh God. So this morning we cry out for your wisdom, oh God, as we're going through these days, oh God, of uncertainty, oh God, as we're mourning the loss of loved ones, oh God, Lord, as we're seeing people, oh God, that are falling away from the faith, oh God, we're asking you today, God, that you will strengthen up our arms, oh God, give us an errand and a her on our sides, oh God, to help us hold our arms up, God, so that we may keep our guard up, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we decree and declare that you are glorious, oh God. We thank you, God, for keeping us throughout this day, God. We thank you for keeping our family, oh God, throughout this day, oh God. We thank you, God, that our focus will be on you today, God. We will keep our guard up, oh God. We will be intentional this day, God. We'll be watching for, oh God. We'll have our thinking, our listening ears on, oh God. Our eyes, the blinders will be removed, oh God. We thank you, God, that our words will be words of faith today, God, because we are keeping our guard up. Every distracted minute is an unrecoverable minute frozen in the permanent past. God, we decree and declare all these things to be done, and so shall it be unto the glory of God. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Enjoy your family over this weekend. We will meet you back here Monday through Friday next week. We begin at 555 as we gather our minds and our thoughts before we begin to prayer at 6 o'clock sharp.
sharp until 615. We are so grateful that God is helping us to keep our guard up. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen.